Okay, this is SBM 2014, uh, question number 8, MF, paper 1. Okay, so it's given that sum of the first n term geometric progression is Sn. So over here, few important information. First, you understand this is geometric progression. Because understand this is so important whenever you want to find a common ratio. Because you know the common ratio is equal to second term divided by first term. Alright, and then also you have to understand first term mean actually A. Or you can call it T1, stand for first term. Alright, so... In this question, first you have to understand what is the meaning for Sn. Sn means sum of the first n term. So for A, if I want to find the first term over here, means I just sum of the first term. Mean I have one, two, three, four, five term, I just sum the first term, mean actually I find the first term. So S1 is actually in this case is same with the T1 or it will same with the A. So S1 actually is you just substitute 1 into the n here, so it'll be 5 over 2, and then this one will be 3 power 1 minus 1. Yeah, it just equals to first term. So you just solve this one, I think you can easily get the first term. It's just 5 over 2 multiple with 2 equals to first term. So you can say first term is equals to 5. That's all. Right, for part B, the question asks you to find a common ratio of the progression so let's say i have my first term is actually equals to five and i do not know my second term or third term and continuous so in order to find a common ratio i know i actually need to find my second term so my common idea on how to find a second term is like this so i'm going to sum of the first second term and then after i sum of the first second term over here i will minus five then i can get my second term so I will do S2, means sum of the first term and second term. And then I minus my first term, then I can get my second term. Alright, so I will do S2. Okay, so basically S2 is very simple, means substitute 2 into the n here. So I have 5 over 2. And then this is 3 power of 2 minus 1. So basically this is 5 over 2. This is 9. 9 minus 1 is actually is 8. So, yeah, simplify 4, 5 multiple 4 is 20. So, that means sum of the first two terms is 20. That means 5 plus sec T2 equal to 20. So, my T2 actually equals to 50. So, after you find your T2, you can easily find your uh, common ratio. Because, I just say here, the common ratio is actually equals to second term divided by first term. So my second term over here will be 15, my first term over here will be 5. So my common ratio is just 3. Alright, this question is very simple. So you just need to understand actually how to use the sum of the first n term to find the first term and, and the co common ratio means how to find the second term. Because when a lot of students when they see sum of the sum of the first n term, they were very confused how to find the first term or second term or common ratio. So this video actually show you how to do it. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.